haven't even started to annoy you yet, and you're already at DEFCON 4! If you mess up my history homework, Timmy Turner, I'll kick your butt! And any other part of you, my leg will reach! You don't need any help messing up your homework, Vicky! Not if these answers are anything to go by! What? Are you saying that my answers are wrong? My answers are so not wrong! And I quote, <clears throat> Egyptian pyramids are called pyramids because of their distinctive... That's spelled wrong. Cube shape. What's wrong with that? Uh, Vicky, pyramids are pyramids. You know, like big pointy triangles. I don't care. My answers are better anyhow, you brat. I wish you could see that history would have been so much better the way I wrote it. Uh-oh, I guess I shouldn't annoy Vicky while she's got magic powers. Now go away. My homework's all done. I get to relax with chocolate and the latest issue of Evil Babysitter Monthly. Ooh, a whole section on psychological torture. Wrong. <laughs> Me, the great Vicky. <laughs> that squirt's so out of it. It's like he's living in the past. When I am! Cosmo! Wanda! Hiya, Timmy! Hey, good shout, by the way! Yeah, we heard you from a thousand years away! That's quite a pair of lungs you got! Do you guys recognize this place? Sure do, hon! It's medieval Britain in the time of the great King Arthur! Oh, look! There's a castle over there! Luckily, I speak ye only English, forsooth! Vicky wished history into a mess, then sent me back in time! I guess I should try to fix things. Let's see what she said about King Arthur. With haste, young squire. Hey, nanny, nanny, bunny, lanny, lanny, money, nanny. Uh, Timmy. Good day to thee, bizarre strangers. Oh, would that I could offer more passionate greeting. But whoa, mine is a soul sick with disappointment. I am called Arthur, by the way. How are you called? Usually by shouting. People are always shouting at me, from yonder and the like, forsooth. I'm Timmy. Why are you so sad? Oh, a melody afflicts me. Tomorrow's dawn heralds a great event, a sword-drawing competition. For many days have I anticipated this reverie. Yet, alas, I cannot compete, as my jealous sister has contrived to implicate me in her own naughty schemes. Verily, am I grounded. What did he say? He's sad because his sister framed him. And now he's not allowed to take part in this sword-pulling competition. This is Vicky's fault. Her homework says that the sword Excalibur was pulled from the stone by a girl. And because whoever pulled the sword from the stone became Britain's ruler, in Vicky's version we have Queen Morgana, not King Arthur. Um, thy tongue is passing strange, sir. I do not understand thee. Perhaps thine ears be filled with wax. Don't worry, Sir Arthur, sir. I'll fix this. I have a cunning plan. You'll have to cross using those stepping stones. Don't get wet. They haven't invented the clothes dryer yet. We've got four more stars. Something looks wrong. Why is that ground a different color? Hey, that's medieval mump grass, a powerful remedy against the oldy diseases such as gray snot and pulsing toe. Actually, I think it's probably a trap. Try not to step on it! Look, a knight! We can't let anyone else see us, Timmy! Why not? I want to show off my superior knowledge of science and philosophy and TV shows. Mine is right, Cosmo. We could change history just by being here. There's no point in fixing Vicky's mistakes if I'm just going to make more of my own. We should be able to sneak past people if we're skillful. Three stars to go! Hey, I sound like I'm ordering from a fast star restaurant! <laughs> the star's trying to get you spotted!
star, where would you hide? Well, here we are, Fair Camelot! How do you say cool in Old English? Let's go in, Timmy! Only one star left to find! We'll be wishing in no time! Timmy? I need a way to get over those blockades. The past isn't designed for short people. How about some sort of grapple rope? No, a crossbow! How would that help? Well, it fits the medieval theme here. Oh, I wish you guys would just work it out. What did we make? It's a crossbow! With a grapple plunger. You guys are the best. We like to think so. <laughs> Look for targets. When you see one, aim and shoot. All right. I heard that England was a green and pleasant land, but this is more brown and mucky. my grapple bolt here. Aim by looking at the target. Then do what you gotta do and hold on to your shorts. Thingy. Aha! Hit this button! I bet it'll help us! You raised the gate! So what are we waiting for? Wow! Excalibur! The sword and the stone! And whoever pulls it out rules all of Britain! Now what? It's tiny and it doesn't even have any walls! You're going to have to pull the sword out, Timmy! But only the true king of England can pull Excalibur out. And the people have to believe that Arthur did it! That's where our magic comes in! Yeah! We got a little more magical oomph back in this time. We can fool the sword into thinking that you're Arthur. But you have to help us! Try to pull out the sword, then keep pulling really fast to help us with our magic! Just think you're playing a video game, and you have to press the button real fast. It's like that, but totally different. I'll try once the guard leaves again. He must be the true king of England. I must tell everyone. This guard just saw Arthur pull out the sword. The magic wore off. Timmy, don't let him see you with the sword. I've got to get the sword back to Arthur. Head for the wall. We'll never make it out through the castle.
there. You raised the gate. Now what are we waiting for? ended up way back in time. Ah, oh, the crimson chin goes way back. My good and faithful friend, I know not what magic transpired this day, but you have Excalibur. Guards saw me pull it out while I was disguised to look like you. Oh, don't ask. But if you take it back, you can pull it out again and prove that you're the one true king. Oh, I bear thanks to you. If I am to become king, I will have the means to well reward you. Oh, how nice! I'd love one of those big, flouncy frocks women wear here. Uh-oh. No time, Arthur. But it was nice to meet you. I feel the pull of homework. Hope you get a sensible language sometime soon! And Maul! And watch out for that Lancelot! He's trouble! Yay! I'm king! <laughs> How cool is that? Hot! Sandy! Egypt! We're in ancient Egypt, guys! Oh, wow! Luckily, I speak ancient Egyptian. I, weird dog-headed man, little bird. That means, oh, I've had a tough trip. Okay, Timmy, what did Vicky not know about Egypt? Well, everything's the obvious answer. But I think our main problem is the pyramids. Vicky thought they were cubes. Square pyramids? That's weird. You can stack them up a lot easier that way. So we have to convince the builders that a pyramid is the new in shape for tombs this season? That's about the size of it. Bird-headed man by a throne carrying an egg. That means let's get on with it. Someone, I want to try out my new words. Wanda's right, Cosmo. Let's be careful. I bet the Egyptians invented stars. Hmm. Looks like we need to go through here are blocking our way! I'll look for some mechanism that might move them. The Egyptians were very inventive. They invented carpets and sand. You still have to find two stars. Um, if you were a star, where would you hide?
thing to appear. What do you think? How about a hammer that's almost too big to lift? Good thinking, Sweet Pea. You're always one step ahead. You got that right. You guys make one big mallet. Find big blocks of stone, then hit them to knock them into pyramids. And I bet, now that we're in Malice, you can knock the ground by the guards and they fall over. I'm feeling seismic. I love you guys. You know just what a growing boy needs. A button! I bet this does something good. Or if not good, at least big.
I get the feeling we're not invited. what I call sand. It's what everyone calls sand, Wanda, except Egyptians who call it three wavy lines. And look, the pyramids. I mean, the squaremids. We still have to get these Egyptians into the pyramid vibe. Let's get sculpting, or at least bash it with a hammer. Hammering has worn me out. You should try being the hammer. I'm fine. Gonna cause more hammer a lot more, I bet, yeah. But I think we did it. The Egyptians seem very interested. With a little fairy magic, we should be able to see what will happen. Yes, look, they took the bait. They're gonna alter the squarements to pyramids. We did it. Ah, uh, no time to sign our names. Two circles coming together spells Cosmo in Egyptian. Swept through time like a leaf in the wind. How irritating. Oh, don't worry, hon. Just think of Vicky's grade point average after this. Okay, guys. When are we now? Hmm. Nice architecture. This seems like a really cool time. Uh, is it Canada? Ancient Canada? I'm guessing Canada. I'm usually right. Sorry, Cosmo. According to Vicky's homework, we're in Greece. Ancient Greece. Hence the smell of cleverness. Yep. It's well known that ancient Greeks were especially brainy. Ooh, then I'll fit right in. Let's see. What has Vicky messed up here? Well, she has the Greeks eating fine food and drinking fine wine, which seems okay, but... Oh, no. She says here that the ancient Greeks hated sports. But the Greeks practically invented sports! Their games are world famous for sporting excellence! Are you sure the Egyptians didn't invent sports? They invented a lot of things! I know, I was just there! We have to turn these Greek gourmets onto sports, guys! Or I'll never get to see another Super Bowl or World Series again! And that I cannot allow! Go, Timmy! Go! He doesn't look like much of an athlete, does he? You think I'm gonna have to avoid people again? Well, better safe than sorry. Don't look at us, Mr. Guard! We're not here! Where would you? 
you hide? going to wish for? It's me! That's your job, Timmy! So as far as you care, I can wish for something stupid, like a hammer or a cheesy -o. One hammer and one chisel! Now let's find some statues! Good wish, hon! We're proud of you!
go. I've got to reach the end before my time runs out. like a challenge. You'll have to avoid steam spouts and not fall in the water, Timmy. Another amazing it. area. Don't fall in the water. Chin card ended up way back in time. Ah, oh, the crimson chin goes way back.
has really taken to sports. Wow, they should do this every four years. Does that fix all of Vicky's tampering with time, Timmy? I think so, which means... Time to go! Goodbye, ancient Canada! I love you! It's Greece! Greece! Yeah, Greece! Greece is the word! It's got groove and it's got meaning! Greece is the time! It's the place! It's the motion! Okay, I'm leaving now. Whoa! 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 Don't do that! Whoa, I only just got back and you're already at DEF CON 4! If you mess up my history homework, Timmy Turner, I'll kick your butt! And any other part of you my leg will reach. Hold on, haven't we been here before? Yeah, you always show up to annoy me just when it's time to relax. You finished your homework then? Yes, I have, and it's all correct. I am a genius, so all my answers must be correct. I'm not so sure. No, Timmy, don't make her wish the same wish again. Looks like we got back before we left. Be careful. What? Are you saying that my answers are wrong? My answers are so not wrong. Oh, no. You're right. A genius can't be wrong. I agree with you completely. I've been all through time and space, and Vicky is still the dumbest person I've met. school and I can't believe we have to go on a Saturday it's all Vicky's fault she has extra classes and because she's my babysitter this weekend I have to go to school too it's so unfair ah uh, she'll probably make some dumb wish too at least that would give us the chance to find more pages of the rules that's if my teacher crackpot crocker doesn't detect the wish power and try to get it for himself Ooh, I don't like him adults shouldn't believe in fairies it's madness and he won't stop until he proves that we exist. I don't want to be proved. Out of the way, Squirt! Get in my truck! Ah! Timmy Turner, you creep! You planned that! You didn't have to stand there. You just got unlucky. I'm always unlucky. I wish you got all my bad luck for a day. Then you'd see how difficult my life can be. Did you hear that? Bad luck, she said. That Timmy Turner doesn't know what he's in for. <laughs> so, here we are, in school, on a Saturday. How could life possibly get any worse? Ah, it's creepy here. It feels empty with a silence that I don't like. All the other kids are at home, hon. Probably having fun. Ah, no! What's wrong with you guys? Ah! Timmy! We're in trouble. That was unlucky. That's what we're trying to tell you. The school is full of anti-fairies. They bring bad luck. I can't see anything. Here, try these! Hello, Timmy Turner. You know, you're quite famous in the fairy world. We've always wanted to play with you. Back! Back, evil anti-fairies! <laughs> oh no! Anti-fairies in the school, and us with no powers! I smell Vicky! Worse still, if Mr. Crocker finds the anti-fairies, he can use them to prove his theory! We have to catch the anti-fairies before he notices them! We have no choice but to look for wish stars. We're gonna need wishes to get out of this one. You've only got one star. Find it some friends. The ladder. That's bad. Not to mention being really bad luck. 
It locks itself in! One plus one is two! Hey! School's good for my brain! Ah! I've seen bad luck before! But this one takes the cake! Ah! Cake! You! Wish star! We need two more stars! I can feel my wand switching! Oh, a terrible thing to happen to the school! A little too far! We won't hurt you, little wish. Only one more star to find, cutie! You, wish star! No running in school! from all good retailers and on the internet whoa nice one guys it's a lucky horseshoe powered anti-fairy magnet it's a magnetotronoid you can use it anytime we're near an anti-fairy try it on me oh, try it on me i'm ticklish if you keep the anti-fairy snagged in the beam for long enough you'll capture it yeah and once they're captured they're under your control they like bad luck i'll give them bad luck You made it this far. But this is the end of the line for you. Say your prayers, Auntie Fairy. Yeah, this is the end of the line for you. You already said that.
don't think it likes being in a classroom. She needs two more stars. I can feel my wand twitching. Oh, it's playing hard to get. Only one more star to find, cutie. Now I have you. We can only save you one more time. This garden is tiny. The star can't hide. There you are. We can only save you one more time. next. I wish for some super sneakers to make our progress easier. Sounds like fun. Whoa, cool spring shoes. I thought you'd like them. Oh, you'll jump higher now. Much higher. Excellent. Let's try them out.
stepping on cracks in the sidewalk is really unlucky. But I shall dispense with the opportunity to put your mother in traction and instead try and get you to break your back, little boy. <laughs> no! You make me mad! Fairies here? They must be somewhere. Where are the fairies? <laughs> 
We'll reactivate the crocometer. It should give you some warning if he's close. Do you remember the colors? Of course I do. Green is safe, orange is beware, red is run like heck. And purple means answer hazy. Ask again later. Now let's finish charging our wands. That's right, seven years, count them, of bad luck. <laughs> it's the fairy anti-final, the final fairy anti, the anti-final fairy, the final anti-fairy. Catch me if you can. Card. These usually get 
confiscated in school because they're not educational. But you learned everything you know from the Crimson Chin. Timmy Turner? But how? A kid like you should have been terrified of my book-based bad luck. I'm not scared of your books or your luck. Prepare to be magnetronoided! Let that Auntie Fairy have it, Timmy! Keep it for yourself and use it! Oh, I see, sorry. for that, Timmy. You better look around first.
underground cave? Beneath the school? How quaint! How do we get out? There's no- No way back! I guess we go forward! Hello, I'm not in right now. I'm out catching fa- I'm doing my shopping. But please fling yourself into my defensive stasis fields after the tone, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Babe! I can get through those fields. I just have to tie it right. Secret fairy catching lair and his new super secret fairy detecting and catching van. Wow, you know a lot. Hey, let's let the air out of his tires. Now, Cosmo, we shouldn't be encouraging such antisocial behavior. I've got a better idea. Since these anti fairies are under our control now. There, one anti fairy with my compliments. That'll keep Crocker off our backs for a while. was one long, weird day at school. Oh no, it's Crocker! Boy, is he in for a surprise! No! Oh, my beautiful van! I guess Crocker's fairy catching van caught a fairy after all, but not in the way he expected. Enjoy your extra day in school, twerp! Actually, it was a refreshing change! Oh no! Not this time! <laughs> Served you right! Okay, that does it! Aha! Uh -huh, a babysitter! They're always fun! That was a great day! Yeah, we kept Fairy World a secret, beat the anti-fairies, and collected some pages of the rules! <laughs>